Hello dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Mukesh English. This is Mukesh Soni. In this video, I'm going to talk about the famous work of Bertolt Brecht titled The Life of Galileo. Before that, let's know some information about Bertolt Brecht. Bertolt Brecht was a German theater practitioner, playwright and poet. He studied science for less than a year at Munich University before he was called up in 1918 for a service as a medical orderly in the First World War. He was against the rising, he was against the rising Nazi movement. He was a creative artist more than a soldier and a politician. He published a few books of poetry and one of the two novels, but it is the plays which have made him internationally famous. Of these, perhaps the most celebrated plays are The Life of Galileo, The Good Woman of Sedzuan, Mother Courage, The Caucasian Shark Circle. So in this video, we are going to discuss his famous play, The Life of Galileo. Now the introduction. The Life of Galileo, a masterpiece of Bertolt Brecht, a German playwright, which was written in 1938. It was first enacted in 1943 in Jewish. The play records the tragic career of the Italian mathematician, philosopher, and astronomer Galileo Galilei. It throws light on the persecution, trial, threats, and punishment by the Catholic Church for sharing his scientific findings with the world. The crux of the play is the conflict between dogmatic religious belief and scientific truth. Bertolt Brecht expresses his highly sympathetic attitude towards Galileo's perseverance in a battle against the church. Now, let's have a glance at the characters very briefly. Galileo Galilei, the protagonist, he is a Galileo is a protagonist and the title character of the play, The Life of Galileo. He is a lecturer at Padua University, where he specializes in, in using mathematics to prove astronomical models. Then the second character we find here, Andri Sati. Andri Sati is a young son of Mrs. Sati and a student of Galileo. Mrs. Sati. Mrs. Sati is Galileo's housekeeper and mother to Sati. The little monk, one of Galileo's many, many detractors, detractors in the, within the Catholic Church, but he ultimately becomes one of Galileo's student and acolytes or acolytes. <clears throat> Cosimo di Medici. Cosimo de Medici is a Grand Duke of, of Florence, though he's only a child around Andri's age. Father Christopher Clavius. Father Christopher Clavius, like Barberini, is a minor character with a few lines, but with an exceptionally important role in the play. Sagrido. Sagrido is a minor character who serves as a Canary in the coal mine for Galileo. Federzoni. Federzoni grinds the lenses for Galileo's first telescope. Cardinal Barberini, who is known later, who is known as Pope Urban VIII. Cardinal has few speaking lines in the play Life of Galileo, but he nevertheless has a huge impact on the life of Galileo and his followers. Ludovico Marsili, a rich young playboy whose primary interest in the horses or in his horses. The procurator, the procurator is Galileo, Galileo's superior at Padua University. He's sensitive uh, to Galileo's genius and need for some money, even if he can't help Galileo get a raise. Now, the play begins here. I have given a few important uh, few themes for, for the few, I have given the few important themes for the course of the events for the events in this play. So the first we find here Galileo's challenge. In the opening scene of the play, 
Bertolt Brecht introduces Galileo as talking with his pupil, with his student, Henry, who is the son of his housekeeper, Henry Sarti. Henry listens as Galileo probes the Ptolemaic or the Ptolemaic assumption that the earth is the center of the universe. Galileo argues that it is time to dispose of obsolete scientific truth. He would like to replace them with new ones that accurately model reality. He also challenges Ptolemaic physics, which holds forth the argument that the earth is a fixed object surrounded by movable ones. At the outset, Henry, Sart Henry is unconvinced. His student is not convinced by Galileo. Henry talks about Galileo's theories at school. This news soon comes to the attention of his mother, Mrs. Sarti. Mrs. Sarti worries that Galileo is distorting Henry's concepts of reality while neglecting his basic responsibilities in reality, such as staying out of debt. Galileo thinks to public and publishes research. In the following scene, Galileo makes public his telescope to the world. He exposes his work to the work to the world. The invention is seen as merely a novelty by the general public. It ignites the minds of the scientific community. They understand it as a tool that can prove current models of the universe and ultimately educate the public. Ultimately, it educates the public. Thus, the plot then shifts to the night of January 10, 1610, along with his colleague, Segredo, Galileo uses his telescope to observe the moon. They find out that the moon does not create any light of its own. It reflects light from the distant sun. This insight provides strong evidence for Galileo's theory that the earth is not the center of the universe. Galileo decides immediately to publish his findings for the benefit of science, but his colleague Segredo tells him that he will be perceived insane if he does so. Meanwhile, Galileo writes to Cosimo de Medici, the Grand Duke of Florence, who also happens to be the wealthiest man in Europe, he also tells him that he will name Jupiter's recently discovered moons after the Medici family. Now, Galileo, he goes to Florence. The plot of the play, the plot of the play shifts to Florence on the Duke's invitation. Galileo and Henry move to the Medici Palace in Florence. When Galileo shows Cosimo the Copernican, Cosimo the Copernican theory of the universe, Cosimo rejects it. Medici's, Medici's own scholars tentatively reject the Copernican model. They take the side with the earlier Ptolemaic system of the universe. To find out the truth in Galileo's invention, they invite the Vatican astronomer Christopher Clavius to examine Galileo's findings regarding the universe. Now, the science and the biblical ideas. So there's a lot of intervention here. Then the action of the play again takes place at Vatican's research center, the Collegium. Romanum, Romanum in 1616. They finally accept Galileo's findings and the accuracy of the Copernican model. The monks fear that the monks fear that the church will lose credibility if the findings are made public. Further, Clavius continues to deny his researchers' conclusions. They, the Inquisition bans Copernican science in that year as hearsay. Now the reaction to Galileo's work. What is the reaction? 
Meanwhile, Galileo hears that a scientist by the name of Cardinal Barberini has been named the next Pope. He goes back. He goes back to astronomy for further research, assuming that he will now be protected. In due course, Galileo publishes his findings widely. This rejuvenation in scientific thinking, the church feels that it is losing its supremacy. The church names him a heretic, heretic, and many followers proclaim that he has brought an end to Christianity. Others believe that he has performed heroic acts, a great, a very hero, heroism act, very heroic acts by dedicating his life to science. They start openly to reject the churches, the church's unscientific dogma. So this is the reaction of Galileo's work. The two cardinals from the church, Bellarmine or Bellarmine or the Barberini, ask Galileo to stop pursuing his theory. So he was told not to work further. They argue that it is more important for people to rationalize the universe according to biblical ideas than to understand the scientific reality. The Vatican puts a condition to Galileo that they will allow Galileo to study further if he does not publish his findings regarding the universe. Later, Galileo stops researching for eight years to study mathematics. Now, Galileo was imprisoned. In 1633, Galileo attends the Grand Duke's reception. Though his daughter opposes his participation, she fears that they are in danger. In fact, her suspicion turns out to be true because the Duke arrests Galileo to be questioned in the Inquisition. Church threatens and warns Galileo he shown weapons and instruments. He publicly renounces his research to save himself. He has to remain as a prisoner for nine years until 1642. Meanwhile, when he's in the prison, Henry visits him. Galileo sends him off with the two of his important works collectively called the Discorsi. Henry reaches Holland with these forbidden books. Now the play ends. The play ends as Henry overhears children talking about a possible witch in the village, demonstrating that he now believes in the value of skepticism. Henry interjects that it is scientifically impossible for a person to fly on a broom. Thus, Bertel Brach portrays the plight of a science of a science. Uh, thus, the thus Bertel Brach portrays the plight of a scientist through the character of Galileo vividly and rationally. Dear friends, thank you so much for watching this video. You can reach me at Mukesh English at the rate of gmail.com. Please do subscribe the channel, click on the like button for more videos on literature, workbook, pronunciation, grammar, communication skills, presentation skills, interview skills. Stay in tune with Mukesh English. Thank you once again.